All right, traders, and watch this video here for Thursday already. Wow, Thursday, December, December 3rd. Um, for those of you that didn't make it to chat this morning, we had a very, very busy morning. Um, I did something different today. On the morning gap playlist that I uh, put together before the market opens, three of them were gaps down, which I don't usually do. But uh, today was kind of an anomaly where you had the whole EV sector had been down several days in a row. Uh, so I had several on bounce watch and then they were gapping down, which is one of my favorite setups in the world. And so uh, it was, a, again, it was a busy morning. I'll show you a few of them real quick. SBE was one of those. Um, looks great, right? It's a bounce play and then it gapped down. That's exactly what we want. Uh, switching to five minute candles. I called it long through 26. I'll show you what it looked like at the time. So you had the gap down, the sell off, the reversal. And I thought through 26, you got the high of day, red to green and high of day, very close above. And the rest of the sector was bouncing as well. Um, and look at the 26 break, never looks back and actually goes all the way to almost 32. I also gave another entry idea through 28 um, because here it had topped out at, uh, let me get the numbers right. It had topped out at 2840 and then kind of put this little cup and handle in. Whole number inflection point with the high of day still above, the earlier high of day still above, and the sector was on fire. And there's the 28 break and again. So there's two good trades, even if you missed the first one. Um, SBE was pretty darn good to us. XPEV, um, XPEV, same scenario, right? Gap down. Uh, I think NEO was already hitting new highs. And I said uh, XPEV, whole number inflection point plus a high of day break, an opening range breakout after the gap down. Again, look at the daily. You already had real strong stock and then several days down in a row into the buy zone and then a gap down right to that 20 day. Uh, actually opened below the 20 day and look at that. Um, through 28, that thing never looked back and went to 28, sorry, through 48. Uh, it, it went to uh, 57, like over a $9 move in, in uh, above where I called it. Um, so there's another one. There was a ton today, but I'm just going to do a, a few of them. Uh, GP. I also called over the high of day here, and then it, it dilly-dallied for a while and flagged below 19. I also called it through 19 right here. Both of them worked. This one actually uh, was probably a little bit of a better move because it dilly-dallied a little bit after the first entry. And you know, I don't like that. I like them to work right away. Um, so there's a few highlights, but again, it was almost everything in the space kind of duplicated this setup. And to my credit, I actually was hyper-focused in getting you guys hyper-focused on these EV gaps down this morning. Wasn't even looking at the stocks we had on the gap up list um, because I love that setup so much. You know, and still feel like I missed a bunch of them, but it was a great day nonetheless. All right, so what are we watching for tomorrow? Um, EVK, there's nothing interesting here, but in after hours, um, this thing's trading. It went over four bucks. Uh, it looks like it went out in after hours around 375. So. Potential gap play tomorrow. You see what it did back here. Um, big, brew, big move, but then came all the way back down and rolled over. So I don't even know. I don't know if they had earnings after hours or what. We'll find out in the morning. We'll look it up. But certainly a potential gap play tomorrow in EVK. Um, snow, very uh, very much like the EV plays, right? A real strong move. Three days lower into the buy zone. Um, and I think maybe they reported after hours because um, it went out in after hours at 282. So we're looking at something I was going to put on the bounce playlist anyway. I put this in my notes today when I saw the chart. I didn't know that they were reporting after hours. I'm assuming they are because of the gap down, but we've got a very uh, similar setup to the EV plays, right? Three days in a row down after a strong move and now a gap down. Um, you know, who knows where it's going to open, but if it gaps down around that 20 day, um, it becomes very interesting for a, a similar setup like the EV plays today. Um, I'm going to glance at the earnings before the market opens tomorrow. Uh, to see if they were a super disappointment or something too, because if they were, then I'm much less interested in playing it. ARRY, um, this one is just uh, one, two, three, four nasty days in a row, falling from almost 50 down to below 38. I don't have any kind of move, moving average that's in play here, but um, I'll put that one on bounce watch too. CAN, which I think was deemed a Bitcoin play, um, and Bitcoin's been really strong, and the Bitcoin plays like Riot and Mara have been really strong. And this one's been super weak at the same time, which I bring that up to say it makes me like this one a lot less. Having said that, it still ran from like two to almost seven and now is down four days, uh, just piercing the 20 day to day. Um, so 
it is overdue for a bounce, so that's why it's on watch. Um, IGC, a pot stock, um, had a gap up the other day, two red days and curling back up today. Um, GP, another EV play. I just picked uh, one that had maybe less of a bounce than some of the others. Um, actually, I got a couple of them on here. Uh, so GP might continue the bounce tomorrow, kind of closed in the middle of that buy zone, but well off its highs. FUV is another one I want to watch for a continuation of the bounce, just like GP. WYY, I've been watching for a bounce for a few days, and today, on very little volume, finally broke above its early high, but happened near the end of the day on no volume, so really didn't give a trade setup. But you could argue now maybe it's found support between uh, this $980 and $10 area in the last couple of days, so maybe it's up from here. Uh, so that's the reason that one's on watch. SBE, I already showed you this one, huge bounce today. Um, it's just another EV. They're in the charging space for EVs. Um, another one I'm going to look for a continuation of the bounce. And then lastly, MAC, M-A-C-K, big breakout today, 77 million shares. And actually a pretty strong close, all, thing, all things considered. So we're going to watch that one tomorrow. We'll add some gappers to this list in the pre-market, and there should be plenty to trade. So I'm done babbling. We'll see you in the chat room.